Welcome back everybody to Josh L5. We've reached level 29, Shattered Ice Temple, and by the, all indications it seems to be rather interesting, so let's go ahead and get started. Use blocks to progress through this abandoned temple. Some blue walls are fake. Okay, I hope that doesn't mean that there's a whole lot of trickery here, but let's see what happens. That ticking sound is kind of a little distracting, but... Uh, Let's see, I think you have to do this. There we go. And I'm going to need to get that over here. Uh, whoops! Okay, I didn't see that that was ice. The bottom square, that is. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but for some reason I'm kind of getting distracted by the ticking noise. I'm usually not, like, at all bothered like that, but, like, when I was a kid, I totally turned the sound on the game just all the time, the sound of the music. I didn't care that there were buttons being pressed all the time. I just thought it sounded cool. Um, yeah, what are we supposed to do here? There's a block down there, and if we were to push it... Okay, I think we're supposed to ultimately get this block, and then... Oh, okay, here. Okay, so we're supposed to go back toward there. Okay, I'm just going to assume we push the block there. So let's go ahead and do this. And, well, wait a minute. Why do we need to open that when we can just... Wait, huh? Yeah, I don't see why we would need to open that. Let's try this again. Like this. Well, not again. This is the first time. But it seems like that works. I hope that wasn't a mistake. And that makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with this. Okay, we get a cloner. Nice. Okay, so now we can kind of spread things out a little bit more here. Let's just fill in the spaces that we can fill in. Actually, wait a minute. If we did this, we can turn things around and bridge a lot of different places. In fact, I'm wondering if that's what we're ultimately supposed to do. There's another yellow there. Huh. Okay, so we can go around that. Cool. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of this. Okay, I, see, the problem is that, do I push that down, or would that just corner it? I mean, it looks like I'm going to need to open up the blue door. Or no, I don't need to with, yeah, okay, hang on a sec. Let's just try this out. I can put that there, I can go around, and it looks like here I'm going to need, okay. How am I going to pull that off? Ah, I wish the ticking sound would stop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's not... Yeah. See, if I go through the top, I would have to push the left block to the left, right? Except, no, I don't. Hang on. There we go. I can't believe I missed that. Okay, so we got that now, and now we can push this back. Oh, wait. That was dumb. Except not. Hang on. There we go. Awesome. Thank you for allowing that, Josh. I, I appreciate that, man. That would have been craziness if I couldn't make it past that. Um, so where do we need to go now? I'm assuming down there. That makes the most sense. I'm just wondering if I'm missing anything else. Like, can I go through that? Doesn't look like it. It does look like I can get to this chip from here, though, and I need to use the blocks here. But it looks like that's a dead end. So let's just go... Yeah, this way should work. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. I'm sorry if my commentary is just kind of a little disjointed, but it's just, it seems like there's a new thing, like, like a new roadblock at every turn, and you really have to be on your feet here. Or, well, not just your feet, but your toes. I, I guess we're already on our feet with the blocks and stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. 
So, you know how, speaking of not knowing what you're saying, you know how sometimes you can get words mixed up, and, like, you think of two different things, and then you end up saying some kind of weird hybrid of the two different things? Like, uh, for instance, there's a... There was this one day at the office where I was talking to somebody on the phone, and I they were thanking me for something, and I said, you're welcome, but I was thinking of no problem at the same time, so I said, no welcome. At least I didn't say your problem, that would have just been bad, but y you know what I mean, it's just so awkward sometimes when that happens. I don't know, it it's just weird. Um, see, I don't want to go through there yet, I, I want to fill in more water because... I mean, what if we can avoid that? I mean, what if there's a, a trick where we have to not open that door up? Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna explore here first before I bring more blocks through. It's looking, though, like... Well, I could fill those in. I'm just trying to be careful, that's all. I'm, I'm just trying to avoid any unpleasant uh, surprises. The thing is, where am I really supposed to go? Is that water space there actually important or not? I'm assuming, yeah, that's going to be real. I'm just going to push this in here. Okay, that was pointless. Yeah, um... Let's just continue working with this. I don't know. I, I'm just going to push more blocks in the water over here and just see what happens. I'm still wondering what that ticking noise is controlling. I mean, is that like a, a trap button or a clone button? I, usually it's a clone button when it's pressed over and over again like that. I mean, I can't imagine a trap being pressed intermittently. And a tank, I mean, pressed that fast, you couldn't get past the tanks. Alternating spaces like that, so it almost has to be a cloner. Okay, now, there we go. Now we don't even have to worry about opening the yellow door. Oh, wait, I can just totally get the fire boot. Duh. What was I thinking there? I could just totally get the fire boots with no problem. So, can we access anything new? We can get down here. But I kind of want to leave an escape route, so let me bring some more blocks in. I'm sure I'm wasting a lot of time by doing this, but I, I've learned that you just can't be too careful sometimes, you know? And the problem, uh, the only thing that I've, the only quibble that I've really had with this set so far is that, and I, I, I've, I say this as a minor thing because I, I'm sure this will be addressed um, with future updates, is that the levels don't really seem to be arranged in order of difficulty. And uh, I know Josh has mentioned that he intends to reorder the levels in the future, so I'm hoping that that will happen uh, whenever he does that. But it's, it's kind of hard to tell what exactly a level's difficulty is here right now. I mean, we went from, you know, pretty simple stuff early on to the really difficult level 11. So, yeah, I, I don't really know what to think. I mean, for all I know, this could be a really insanely hard level. Okay, so we got that down. Okay, so it's not a tank. Um... What are we supposed to do here? Mm. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming that pushing those down is a good idea? What would be the point of that? I mean, the teeth aren't doing anything, and there's nothing over on the other side of them. And pushing these blocks up doesn't seem to serve any... Pr yeah, there's a cloner there. Yeah, what are we doing here? Okay, this seems to be used for the button here. Which now means that we can totally turn the tank around, but I'm just trying to see... Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be any reason why the... Oh, wait a minute, maybe we were supposed to go through those one at a time. Yep, I bet that's it, we were supposed to go through those one at a time. Oh, man... Okay, I'm just going to keep looking around. I don't know if that was really a mistake or not, but I bet we were supposed to do that, weren't we? Yep, yep, there's a path over there. I totally blew it. Yeah. 
That was so dumb. Why did I do that? Might as well just... Yeah, okay. Man, I feel like we were so close to the end, too. I'm just kind of curious to see what's over here now. Oh, this would have stopped up the, the... Or, killed the wall, rather. Let me just see what this does. I I figured it's, it's not really uh, harmful to just explore. Because you never know what you might find. Like that. And, you know, if I make a mistake here, at least I won't make it next time. Because I, I know I've already made a mistake somewhere. So is that all there is to do here? Okay, so... Let me just look at that Walker clone machine again. So it's looking like we can open that yellow door without any problem. Okay, so this goes up here? Wait, what's the point of that block? Okay, it just goes up there? Huh. Okay, so we need the blue key to advance further. I'm guessing that can be collected over by where we cooked the level. Okay, um... And we're absolutely certain that there's no way you can get stuff. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hang on. What if... Is there a way we can get stuff down there? I mean, I'm curious. Is there a way we can totally just bridge... There might be if we open that door up. Let's let's try this out. Hang on. Let's let's just try this out. Curious here. Whoops. That was that was silly. We're we're running out of time, but I just want to see if you can just do something. Okay, good. We can actually turn stuff around. Okay, we can get that. Okay, we got the blue key now. So what happens if we go down here? Okay, we can actually get this. Okay, so that leads to a yellow. Yellow key. I'm just curious if there's like a an even crazier way to handle all this that... Oh, wait! We opened the yellow door when we... Oh! Oh! Hang on. Hang on. I wonder if... Yes! Yes! Awesome! Oh my goodness, I totally busted the level, guys. And it worked out. Oh, man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not start the level over again. Always look to see if you can still do something. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks for leaving that in, Josh. I Okay, if, if you want my honest opinion, don't fix that. Just leave it as it is. Just, just leave it as it is, man. I, I, I love it the way it is. It, it works. Um, so I need to get that into the... Do I need to get that into the toggle door or to the bomb? Okay, I need to have it hit the toggle door once and then go to the bomb. So... How do I... Okay, the thing is, I don't want it to... I don't want to trap the block with that. Do I, but do I need to worry about that? Do I, do I need the block for up there? Hmm. Wait, I see what to do. There you go. Turn it around and then it'll go up. There we go. We killed all the stones with that one bird or whatever. Okay, there we are. Oh yeah, the name of this level. Roast Beef and Hot Fries. It kind of sounds like a level title that you'd hear in uh, the level title bank on the chip wiki. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Okay, let's not make a silly mistake like that again. Thankfully, I know what to do here now. I'm going to just... Yeah, there we go. want to make sure I didn't get clobbered by the fireball. So let's get these. Let's push this up over here. Let's totally narrate everything we're doing. Let's go the right way that time. And now we've got safe passage across the tanks. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, now we've got access to this block and the block over there. You know what this level kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of a Mike L2 level. Um, it was called, oh, what was it called? Let's see, um, 
21 room level or something like that. It was like a multiple room thing. It was pretty fun too. Oh, and that was risky. I should not have done that. I like how different areas open up here. Like I keep mentioning that as a, a strength of Josh's, but it really is true. Like everything just feels so right when you play these levels. I, I don't know how to describe that. So I need a blue key? Is that available under this? It is, okay. I guess I really wouldn't have any point otherwise. So now my question is, do we need to get the fireball somewhere? Whoa, okay. The fireball totally came in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and push this over here and switch the toggles again. If that thing is just there to be a barrier, then that's a or an obstacle, then that's a pretty effective way to make it happen. I like that. I guess you could clear the dirt and prevent it, but I like it being there. It kind of works. Okay, we need some ice skates for that. Man, I'm liking this. This is cool. Um, so let's see. This kind of reminds me of Mix Up from CC One. You know, with you have to get a key with uh, the teeth in that room, and then you have like this block thing that you have to take care of. Except here, there doesn't seem to be any easy way to kill the teeth. At least not that I'm seeing. Yeah, this is definitely pretty tricky. But you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna totally do it. I'm just gonna do this the hard way. If there's a way to kill the teeth, I'm not gonna take advantage of it. And maybe I'm not supposed to take advantage of it. Like maybe maybe I'm supposed to save the teeth for like that bomb down there. So let's see if that's actually the case. It's looking like that is the case. Yeah, because I cannot get anything down here to destroy that except the teeth. Wow, this is an epic level. I I love the layout, the design. Like the rooms are so nice and they're they're all square or rectangular, but it works. You know, like they they feel natural. They they don't feel like, you know, totally forced into a matrix pattern or anything like that. They they feel totally natural. I I love that. Oh, okay. Those are invisible. Okay. But we can go in here. Okay, so we got some balls here. Alright, I don't really know where they start and stop sometimes if they uh, extend off the frame, so I just want to make sure I know how far they go before I try going across. Thankfully, they don't go off the frame, but I just wanted to check. It just looked like they did. Okay, and now we got a new challenge. We got to make sure... Wait a minute, why are we getting blocks if we've got flippers. Okay, this one doesn't seem to affect anything with the glider, so I'm just going to assume that... Do we need to construct a path back to here? Because I see that... I don't think we do. That Despite the thief being there, it doesn't look like we'll ever have to come back here, so I'm just going to push everything in here. I'll, I will just go ahead and do this, just to see. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm worried about that glider. Like, I want to get it in a nice, stable pattern. And it doesn't look like any of these have chips under them, so... Oh, the, that one has a key under it. Good thing I pushed everything. Well, I guess I couldn't have gone through there if I didn't have the key, so... Never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Easy there. Sit rover. Ooh, another key. Okay, good. Making sure we get all these keys before we do stuff. Alright, do I need to open all these doors or is that a trap? Okay, let me just go ahead and collect everything inside this room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'm going to assume that it's not a trap. I mean, let me just go ahead and kill all these. Of course, in Lynx, you couldn't do that. Okay, I'm just going to leave those doors the way they are. Oh, wait, was I supposed to get them in the... I was. Really? Was I really supposed to do that? Because it sure is looking that way. 
That stinks. Mm. I guess it makes sense. I guess I just didn't really look far enough ahead. Um, how are we supposed to get... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we were supposed to blow this up with the gliders. Okay, well, let's go and start this over again. I'm enjoying this level. This is a fun level. I kind of wish that area was a little bit more evident as far as what you had to do, but, you know... I wouldn't mind playing this through again. I, I think I mentioned before that, you know, sometimes there are just levels that are just plain fun to play through. And this is one of them. I, I enjoy going through this, you know, Rouge-style series of rooms. I, that, that's the word I was looking for, Rouge-style. It really works well. Like, you know, there's the, the, the typical item swapping, and, you know, a lot of people are familiar with item swapping. But somehow it just flows so naturally. Like, you don't have to worry about... Um, being tripped up or anything, you know, it just works. Okay, and let me just go ahead and push this. And now that I know what to expect, I feel like I can do everything a little bit faster, too. That's the beauty of a level like this, is that when you know what's going on and what to do, you can just zip through everything like this. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of a harder version of mm. Mix-Up. Because in Mix-Up, you could totally just take the teeth onto the ice slide. In fact, I think that's what the intended solution is. Of course, in the bold solution, you can't do that. You basically just have to work with the teeth there, I think. Okay, I'm trying to figure out a way to extract this that doesn't involve brushing with death here. It looks like that's the only way. Yeah, this is kind of tight. I don't know what to think of this, but it's not, you know, undoable. It's It works. It is a little rigid though, but you can you can find some clever ways to work around it. Also, this is you know I love it when, when designers do something cool um, for getting off ice because you know before Lynx was kind of a popular thing to play, a lot of people just use ice corners you know to block people's way that you could just walk over in Microsoft, but you can't walk over ice corners in Lynx. So it's nice to find to see some, you know, methods that people use to make that work, you know, where you can get off the ice path, but, like, there's something else cool there. Like, I love the way that looks. It, it's a really nice uh, feature of this level. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and throw caution to the wind and push everything into the water now. I don't care. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Because right now, I'm not really seeing any reason to construct a path or anything. Like, I don't really think there's any reason to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this. Okay, it's looking like we got the glider into a stable pattern, so... good deal. And we got all the keys. Okay, so... I think what we're supposed to do... is we're supposed to take care of this group first, because we can just... Well, wait a minute. Not necessarily. Uh, how are we supposed to get... Oh, wait a minute. I think I see how to do it. Okay, we're supposed to do this. We... Now. Okay, I just want to make sure I got that right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you didn't have to save some of the keys for something else. That that would be mean if you had to do that. Okay, great. So we've got... Oh. Well, we don't have any boots, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that we, we go in here. Because we, we don't have anything to lose. So let's just go ahead and get those. So it's looking like we need to bring those blocks around here. And for that, we would have needed the fire boots. So... It looks like this works out. How do we get that block out? Oh, we need the skates for that. Right, 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 right. And to get the skates, we need to push that block, slide it, and then go around here. 
Okay, now we can push these up. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, this is this is going well. Just a one little last thing left here, it looks like. I also like this bottom section. It kind of reminds me of Frozen Labyrinth a little bit. I don't know if Josh uh, intended for that to be the case, but it looks cool, though. There's one bomb in this room that doesn't need to be destroyed. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, so it's looking like we need to create a path for the bugs to go over to the bombs. But in order to do that, it's looking like I'm going to need to destroy that bomb first. Wow, this is kind of a tough thing to put at the very end, but I'm, I've got some hope that it will all work out. Yeah, we're going to need to... I'm going to keep that chip there for now. Okay, great. And, oh, wow. Well, wait a minute. Okay, I think that will actually work. Okay, good. Okay, I think that, that did it. Let's just go and get everything else, and then we need to extract all the blocks out to bridge the exit, so... How do we do the last one? Okay, we're just we're just gonna need to go around, so that shouldn't be an issue. So what was the point of the thief even being there? Is that just something that, with which to block the passage that the block can't go through? Wait, I just opened a door. Was there like a green door under that? That was interesting. I loved that level. I, I really enjoyed that. Roast beef and hot fries. That was cool. My only complaint was that glider thing, but other than that, solid level. I really enjoyed it. Okay, burnt electrical wire. Ooh, another fire level. I know Josh likes these. Wow, okay, so what are we doing here? We got to... Okay, we need to block that up before we release those bugs, it looks like. And I need to get that tank out of the way, which means I'm going to have to clear the dirt and then push the button. Great, okay, now the tank's out of the way. Uh, I'm going to just leave it there. And now the bugs can just go on their merry way. Great, okay, so that leads to a red door that we can't open. Um, okay, there's a red key. But wasn't there a red door over here? Or was that a yellow? Yeah, that's a yellow, okay. Let's go, oh wait, I can't go that way anymore. Alright, let's go back here. Open this up. Okay, here's the yellow. I don't want to get that because that's going to just release that bug. So let's just go back to the yellow then. Yeah, Josh really likes these uh, sorts of fire maze type levels a lot. I can't really... Really? Okay. That's a little mean. I I'm not going to lie. That's kind of a little mean. Let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, that's right, I was going to say, uh, I can't really blame him for that, because this I feel like fire mazes don't really get a lot of love. Also, what's that bug doing just sitting there? Are there invisible walls? Because I can't imagine him using one of those uh, unmovable monster tricks that's MS only. I'm going to assume those are invisible walls. So... Are the bugs supposed to represent, like, electrical burns or something like that? I don't know. That Because yeah, there's, like, all these situations where bugs are trapped, and it looks cool. Okay. I hope that Fireball doesn't really need to be let out again. Oh! Oh, oh, why did I do that? I need to watch my step. Oh, this is a very fascinating design for a level, I, I gotta admit. I, I keep saying that for like every level, but it's true. I mean, I feel like th these levels are so different from each other. Um, I mean, there's kind of a consistent design style through here, but they're all so different that it's just hard not to like them. I forgot to get that, there you go. First get this, then we take care of the next bit. There we go. Alright, so 
don't go through there. Instead, let's go through here. Oh. Wow, that was cool. So, that glider. Oh, we just released the thing. Oh, nice. Nice, I love that. So... That has to go there. And I got that block there, and I got another block. Okay, okay. I see where this is going. Oh, were we supposed to... Oops. My bad. Okay, we were supposed to... I was supposed to look at that first. Okay. Let's try this again. There's a lot of tricks in this level, but I feel like the level itself is so straightforward that you don't really have to worry about, you know, remembering a big checklist of necessary conditions um, that you have to achieve before you can move on to the next section. I mean, one thing leads to another leads to another, and really I think that's the way it should be when it comes to linearly structured levels. Okay, so this section. I love this section. Like, it just flows so perfectly. I mean, look at this. The teeth go there, then the glider goes there, and then the bug dies. Like, that is just... That is powerful. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and push that there. Let's go ahead and get the blue key, first of all. So I'm hoping that one of these paths will lead back to the starting area. Like, that would be cool. Wait, why did I just walk into what? That is so silly. I must be just getting tired tonight. Pfft, there we go. I just let a ball kill me. Alright. Gotta concentrate here. I'm I'm just in awe of the... Whoops. <laughs> okay. I really need to be paying a little bit more close attention here. Alright. Let's go around. Let's take care of this. There we go. Get that. Let's go up here. I just love all, how all these bugs are stuck. Like, it, it looks interesting. Thankfully, we haven't made it that far yet. We didn't have to backtrack too much after making that mistake. Okay, let's not just walk into water this time. That was stupid. I guess because I was thinking I was clearing the dirt, you know, and then I was like, eh, you know, just walk ahead, and then I just didn't even notice it was there. Okay, so... Oh. Oh. I'm going to assume that that was a bad idea. A very bad idea. Because... Yeah, I'm going to... Wait, what? Okay, I'm curious to know how to resolve that problem. Okay, that... Spaces them out more, but... Okay, I'm going to have to figure out a way to make that work. I'm, I think those blue walls at the end of the path are the key. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you do that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to hit that block. Like, that's probably something for the way out, to block the machine. That would make more sense. Also, I love how we can see controller and boss behavior right there, because the bug doesn't exit the trap until that first bug goes up. So that's pretty cool. There's just so much cool concept filled in with this. Man, look at this. All right. Also, I'm need to go back to the yellow door part there. I wonder what that's all about. There's a teleport there. Knowing Josh, there's probably some partial post trick required for that. Okay, don't push that. Let's instead do that. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Not exactly something you'd notice right off the bat, but 
It makes more sense now that I'm looking at it. Okay, so it looks like we have to do that, and then we go back through here. Okay, now we go through this. Oh, I see. It allows us some space here to go through. Okay, I can dig it. Oh, cool. You get, like, one of these fake things. So I'm assuming this one's fake. Yeah. Awesome. Um... Something's just automatically playing on my browser. Refresh your summer with a special edition can, only from Coors Light. Okay, that was random. But I didn't mean to do that. Ah, commercial. Why did you do that? You totally distracted me. Arr. Okay, okay. Calm down. Let's let's just get back on our feet here. Like, everything was going so well. Like, I, w I was advancing and stuff. You, you saw it. I mean, everything was going so well. So, I've got to wonder. I I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now. Why is it that it seems like fire mazes just aren't much of a thing in Ship's Challenge? I mean, it seems like water is used way more than fire. Personally, I've got two theories on this. The first one is that water is a little bit more versatile because, you know, you can push blocks through it and everything. And maybe f also fire is just harder on people's eyes in Microsoft. I mean, in Tile World, it's not that bad. But in Microsoft Chips Challenge, it can be a little bit of a pain to look at a whole level filled with fire. But honestly, I think we need more fire levels. Like, I, I love Fire Trap from the original game. I was just reminded of it with that Ice Slider, because that Ice Slider is just totally Fire Trap. I mean, there are great fire levels out there. There's no doubt about that. So, yeah, I mean, bring bring back some more fire levels. I, I wouldn't mind seeing more of those. So... After this recording, I am definitely going to close some more tabs on my browser to avoid another one of those situations. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm sure it was kind of funny, though. Okay, thankfully we know what to do here. And now we can just backtrack and go back through this. Except, how do we get... How are we supposed to get back there? And really, like, what are we supposed to do to... What? How are we supposed to get back there? Like, there's no way. I, I can't get back. Was there something I missed over here? Because it doesn't look like it. I mean, I had to push that to the left, and... Okay, I'm officially stuck on this. I don't see any yeah okay let me just well, I'll take one more look but I'm not seeing how you're supposed to get past that at all I want to say Josh said he tested all of these so whoops wasted a bunch of time there I want to say Josh said he tested all of these and usually he does wait I gotta do this first so I've been thinking about something. I know I'm kind of getting off topic a lot in this video, but I love thinking out loud in these videos, and it makes it more spontaneous and fun. Do you think you got... Uh, and I know this question may sound a little self-serving, so I'm sorry if it does, but I, I just want to get an honest opinion. Do you guys think that I would be good for, like, audiobook voiceover read... Or, like, you know, audiobook reading or voiceover stuff or just things like that? Because I've had a lot of people tell me that I've had a I've got a good voice. I personally don't see it. Like, I guess because I hear my voice all the time, and my voice in real life, like whenever I hear it on a recording or something, just sounds so different than, you know. Wait, there's a there's a yellow door there. I'm assuming that's for after we block the machine up, though. Yeah, I'm... Eh, this is bugging me. I don't see how you can do this. But, yeah, I've had several people do that. In fact, I've had people at work 
or people call into our office at work when I'm answering our phones. And I've actually had people hang up because they thought I was a recording. And I've had like I've had other people tell me that, you know, I'd be good for radio and stuff. I don't really know if I I'd you know, I would compare, you know, very well to, you know, other people in that line of work, but you know, I guess it's not really something you should really be comparing yourself to other people in. Okay, I'm I'm just wondering if I missed something up here. I'm just wondering. Because that was an invisible wall. That's an invisible wall too, so Oh, there's a thing here. There's a thing here. Okay. I didn't know that there was a thing here. Totally missed that. Okay, that was really silly. I I totally panicked there because I thought the fireball was going to come for me there in the nook that I was in up there. Okay, but it's good to know that this is solvable. It's good to know that. Even though I keep making these silly mistakes for some reason. I'm not mad at this level because, you know, it's it's a very well thought out level and I mean everything is just so perfectly constructed. Even the little shenanigany bits really aren't that shenanigany. I mean, everything leading up to it is so straightforward that it's hard to fault this. So yeah, I'm not mad at all at this level. It's just I'm making dumb mistakes and I keep making dumb mistakes in the silliest places ever. You know, I just realized, for all the off-topic talking I've been doing, I haven't come up with a question of the day yet. At least, I don't think I have. So... Hmm. What should the question of the day be today? Well, this is a fire level, so... Let me ask you guys this. Have you guys ever been in a natural disaster? And... Or, like, you know, any... Well, that may not even natural disaster, but any kind of disaster kind of situation. And if so, like, what happened in... Like, how did you escape from it, and or you know, like, how were you affected by it? I mean, if it's something that you guys don't want to talk about, you know, that was really traumatic, I totally understand that. I mean, believe me, I really do. But you know, if it was something, you know, you know that you you are willing to mention, I mean, feel free to answer. I mean, I would love to hear about what you guys have been through in that regard. Okay, so just go here and. So what's the point of that? See, I was thinking that I had to go there. That, that's why I was racing back there. But apparently you don't. Okay, now... Oh, wait, I can just go through here. Would that work in links? With a splash delay? I don't know. Okay, now... Now we can do that. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go through here. I'm guessing we need to... Ah, here we go. That was probably a bad idea. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea somehow. Um... So if I go through here... Seems like I have to do this. I need to get that blue key, but how do I do that? See, I don't want to partial post that. That doesn't make any sense. But it looks like I kind of have to because... I don't really see how this would work otherwise. Tell you what, why don't I just go ahead and put the block there, but then push the other block over? That may, that may have been what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to push that through there and then get the other one through there. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that that's what I was supposed to do. And now it looks like I've messed this up. Really? A partial posting? I knew it was going to be partial posting, but good grief, I didn't realize it was going to be that evil. I kind of wish it was a little more obvious what you were supposed to do there. Oh well. Oops, uh, there we go again with that mistake.
don't worry guys it will be over soon we can move on to the next level i'll probably do that in the next video because this has kind of gone on for a while but i feel like we've gotten a lot done like i feel like all three of the levels in this video have been pretty epic levels so i think i can justify this being only three levels for one video okay 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 let's just do this right there you go i always get nervous at that I don't know why, but stepping, sidestepping off force floors in Tile World just makes me really nervous. Because you feel, it feels like you have to do it a move early compared to Microsoft, where you do it right when you're supposed to get off. Like in Tile World, you're supposed to do it a move early, and it feels strange. I don't know if anyone else feels that way who uses Tile World, but if so, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, and I think you guys do. Okay, let's just go here. I like how you have to weave back through this room that you visited earlier. Like, that's clever. Okay, and then do this. Now I'm trying to remember, in that whole teleport thing, when did we go left? Was that when we initially went through the uh, teleports on the block room area? Oh, wait, I just forgot the... Mm, I forgot the flip... Uh, I was just so deep in thought about that teleport situation. Okay, my bad. My bad. Anyway, I, I think I've, I've lost my train of thought from earlier with the disaster thing, but the reason why I was thinking about this was because I used to play SimCity a lot as a kid, and... I loved the disasters that they had in that game. I, mean, I know that's kind of a grim topic, but having to save your city from a disaster was just a lot of fun. Personally, as a kid, I, when I first played the game, I thought it was just you know really distracting to have to put up with it. But I love the way the fact that you have to do it, like it, like UFOs and tornadoes and just random stuff. I mean, it's it's all fun just to you know be thrown into chaos and have to deal with that. You know when. You're so used to all the, you know, typical hustle and bustle of the city just going by. Now that's a game I need to LP, SimCity. I, I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but if I can get my copies of SimCity running, that would just be awesome. I would love to do an LP of SimCity. I would probably be terrible at it, because honestly, I've never really been able to sustain a city. And of course, I, I haven't really played the game since I was a kid, but I don't know, you know, maybe as an adult it will be better. I, I know I'm being, you know, ridiculously hopeful there, but maybe as a kid I was just so concerned about building, you know, all the biggest stuff that had the biggest population density and, you know, just, I, I wasn't concerned about actually making the city grow healthily. So if I build it with that in mind, then it might be better. Okay, here we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go ahead and go through here. Okay, so we're forced to do that. Alright, I think what we're supposed to do... ...is this. We push a block there. Then we push a block here. And then we push another one through there. I think that's what we do. I think. Okay. How did we get on that thing before? There we go. Okay. Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh. Oh. How are we supposed to manage that then? I'm so lost as to how all this partial posting is supposed to go. I mean... So wait a second. Wait a second. Am I supposed... To, I think I see how I'm supposed to do it. I'm, I'm supposed to n not push both of them through the first teleport. I'm supposed to push one... Um, hang on, let me just play this out in my head. I feel like I'm, I'm just missing something here. I I feel like the, the one that I pushed with the recessed walls involved is somehow involved in the actual getting to the blue key thing. 
I'm just trying to figure out the order of how I'm supposed to do that. Urgh. If there was a hint here, that would be great. If, if that's that's my only suggestion for this level, because I mean the rest of it is just so spot on. But if there was a hint explaining how to do that room, that you could, or at least something that you could rely on that gives you at least a little nudge in the right direction, that would be great. Because honestly, the way it it's working right now is just so rigid and it's so late in the level that you, the trial and error is just not appropriate. I just don't think it's appropriate. Okay, let's go through here, do all this stuff. Um, so I have to push one to the left, right? I have to push one to the left, and then, what after that? Okay, I'll just deal with it when I get there, because I don't want to miss anything up here again. I don't want to make that same mistake, just want to be on the safe side. I, I made that same mistake. I did it again. Good grief. Why am I doing that? Why am I forgetting? It's like, for some reason, it I just don't see that. Like, I've got a blind spot to that area. I don't know why I keep missing that. Okay, let's do this again. Well, at least I can get a little bit more time to think about this. So... When I push stuff, okay, let's not get that. When I push stuff through the the uh, the teleport that's uh, in the block room, I believe the way it works is that the first block ends up to the right of the teleport that's next to the recessed walls, and then the second block ends up next to the bomb area, right? I mean that makes sense. So my theory is that. Before I go to the bomb area, I'm supposed to take care of the one that I push to the left that's next to the recessed walls. Because then I'll partial post off the bomb area and hopefully to the upper area with the blue key. See, the, the only problem I have with all this is that I feel like there's no frame of reference for where each of the teleport rooms are on the map. I mean, I'm, I know where this one is, but the other ones, I really don't know where exactly they are, like height-wise. I can't really deduce anything reverse reading order wise from any of this, so that's kind of my issue here. Okay, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Okay, good. I'm not gonna risk that. I don't think I could have made that. Okay. I hope that that was the right thing to do with that, by the way. I think it is. So that's at the top. This is down here. Okay. All right. Thankfully, we didn't drown that time. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think what you're supposed to do... Yeah, because I accessed the, the recessed wall to the left of the bomb teleport by going through the block. Okay, yeah. So if I push this to the left... I think what I did here at first was right. It's just afterwards that was the issue. So if I were to go through here to the left, get this. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now I do this. There, got it. Wow. Okay, I feel like that should not have been that difficult. Okay, I'm a little nervous about... Okay, well, that's not a bad... That's not a big deal. This, however... The two brown buttons on the right side are connected to the traps above the fire boots. Oh, man, a Soko ban at the end. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I just need to... Well, this may not be so bad. I just need to get those blocks into the... Yeah, this is not bad. I just need to do this. Okay, there wasn't a wall under that. I was wondering if there would be. Because I think you could have gotten away with doing that. Okay. Okay. I can't go through there. So these are all invisible. Good to know. 
Okay, this is not hard at all. I was making this out to be way worse than it was. The question is, how do we get to that? Okay, am I supposed to just... Because th this is being controlled by this block, and I can't extract that. So... Oh no, I'm just, I'm stuck in here. Yeah, I'm stuck in here, so... How am I supposed to do this? I need to get a block down there, but... What am I missing to get a block down there? My brain is just so fried after all that insanity, I can't even think now. Wait, is this... Oh, that's free, okay, duh. Of course, I probably should have done that before all of that, right? Yeah. Now I can't get it out because of the loop there. Okay. Alright. You got me again. When it comes to Soko bands, I really wish that they weren't at the end of a level. I feel like the hardest stuff in this level was saved for the very end, and... Really, it should be the other way around. I mean, I love this level. I still do. It's just the order of everything is just kind of a little bit weird. Also, I'm very sorry that this has just gone on as long as it has. I, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to cut anything out of the LP because I do want this to be, you know, you know, pretty natural and you know, unedited as far as that's concerned. Okay. I'm just trying to think of those blocks now. I mean, now that I know that you can just take that one out, I'm just wondering which block should I take down to the bottom like I, I'm i supposed to. My brain is just too tired to think now. I think that's part of the problem with me. I, it's not necessarily this level, it's just my head is hurting now from all this on-the-spot thinking. That's the thing, I feel like I'm just bad at doing that. That's why I, sometimes I'm just very hesitant to LP Chips Challenge stuff, because it requires so much on-the-spot thinking. And I do want to deliver good commentary, too. I don't want to just be quiet all the time. You know, I saw a, a ball there that's supposed to uh, pre uh, presumably act as a controller, so I'm wondering why that wasn't the case with the bug. I mean... Was that there just to look cool, you know, with the bug and everything, with the trap and all that stuff? Because I like the way it is right now. I'm just kind of curious if that was the reasoning behind it. Also, I still like that. That's cool. It's. I, f I feel like Chip's Challenge needs more levels that have those kind of fake-out things, but not, you know, with actual consequences where you'll just get cooked if you choose to uh, um, choose the wrong thing. You know, kind of like how Mario has the ghost houses with all the fake things in them. Like, I don't know, I feel like levels like that would be fun. Okay, let's do this right. Push that there. Push that there. And then we go over here. Push this here as well. And then... This. I think, yeah, there we go. Just go around again, and voila. Okay, let's look at this again now. Um, first of all, before I do anything else, I want to make sure that I reveal all the invisible walls I can, because that's going to be important. Also, I'm pretty convinced that this is the block that we need to be pushing down. In fact, it almost certainly is. Yeah, that makes sense. I 
Okay, I can get that out. Okay, good. I was just making sure I can get that out to that button there. Okay, so that means that now I am free to get this over here, and by extension, this over here. Okay, that should do it. Bam! Got it. Okay. I'm just going to go and review all these for fun. Okay, so I can't take the boots with me. Really? Oh, nice. We get fire boots at the end. Sweet. All right, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and stop there because that was a very long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. I, I know it was pretty lengthy and stuff, but... I do want to show everything, like, I, I don't want to just cut everything out and look like I'm cheating. Um, nor do I just want to, you know, speed up and make you guys have to listen to an annoying, annoying helium-sounding voice either. So, I, I figure as long as I can just go through everything fairly quickly, this is the best option, but it didn't quite work out in that case. So, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did have fun, be sure to hit that like button and show your support. Anyhow, I will see you guys next time on the flip side. So take care.